Greetings and welcome to a new feature on the Uncle Doug and Rusty channel. Uh, from time to time I run across things that are so atrocious, that are so bad, that I can't believe it. So I have to share it with the public, that being you, the viewers out there in YouTube land. And uh, today uh, something like that popped up. So here it is. Okay, I was asked to convert this uh, Precision Electronics uh, PE30 PA amp into a nice guitar amp. Uh, naturally, the wretched two-wire cord had to go. Look at this. Somebody had soldered in a whole bunch of extra capacitors. Uh, there's a few other extra capacitors, some uh, of those old microphone in, uh, inputs, things like that. Okay, so I got the uh, input jack uh, installed properly. I got the output to the speaker jack installed properly, and then I decided to plug it in and test it. Okay, here we go. We're going to switch it on. Actually, it's plugged into the current limiter back in the back over there. Listen carefully and see what you hear. Yes, fans, that was about the loudest 120 cycle hum that I have ever heard. So let's flip this beast over and take a look inside and see why it's that way. Okay, now let's check the ESR values on this wretched CAN capacitor. Remember that the lower the value, the better, and that this dash is off the scale high or infinitely high. This is the worst finding that you can have. Here we go. One, two, three, four. As bad as it gets. Now, since the resistance of these four electrolytic capacitors was too high for the ESR meter to read, let's see what it is uh, with a multimeter. And the first one is... 11,000 ohms. Remember, it should be infinitely high. Any measurable resistance is a bad sign. How about this one? 196 ohms. This one, uh, 11,000. And this one is around 12,500. I think you can see why, in, in my opinion, this qualifies as the single worst electrolytic capacitor can that I have ever seen. Okay, as you can see, uh, the wires have been removed from all four of these lugs of this truly awful electrolytic capacitor, and the capacitors have been wired in uh, in each of the positions. Uh, here is the cathode bypass cap for the 6L6s. It's underneath here. So let's plug it in now and see if it uh, plays a different tune. Okay, new filter capacitors. Uh, the amp is plugged into the current limiter. I've got the shop guitar plugged in, and I've got the amp plugged into the 12 inch shop speaker. Let's see if we can hear something other than a deafening 120 cycle hum. <laughs> Okay, this is a 6L6 amp, and it is very, very powerful, surprisingly so. That first uh, demo was at a volume setting of 1. Just for the heck of it, let's walk on the wild side here and go to a volume setting of 2. just about as ragged as you could ask for and that's at a volume setting of two. I love this thing. So that's about it for this very short and hopefully sweet video. Uh, if nothing else it's a great demonstration of the sound and effect that a really bad set of electrolytic capacitors can have on an otherwise good amp. So bye for now. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in future videos. Adios. Let's see how Rusty does sniffing out electrolytic capacitors. Hmm, no snort. A shake. Oh, that means they're worthless. 
See, he could have saved me a whole lot of work if I just consulted him before I ever plugged this thing in. Well, Rusty's skills at sniffing out bad transformers are beyond question. Let's see about electrolytic... Oh my god, I didn't even get to ask him and he sneezed and you know what that means. These are the worst electrolytic capacitors he's ever seen. 